Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. Actually, Craft Box Extra. This is another filler episode. Woo! Fun! Because I haven't been streaming a lot, so yeah, you get uh, pre recorded stuff. We're doing um, Jack Russell's promotion quest first one um, today. Captain, one eyed Jack is looking for us. He sent the letter to me, but he asked for you by name. Something very important, he says, and very secret. What say you? Do we proceed to the black spot? I think we do. Um, so yeah, this is Jack Jack's, um, promotion quest. Very cool. We've had it for a wee little bit of a, um, thing on my Buccaneer, obviously. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen my Buccaneer episodes, you, you should. Um, you really should, because after this episode, there's probably going to be another one coming out, um, tomorrow, the day after you're seeing this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're basically in Port Regal at the moment. This side quest has been a little bit overdue because um, I'm like level 30 now, which is kind of crazy. We got to level 30 at the end of the last time. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I've just recently gotten a bit more gear as well. I did that before I started today. Um, so yeah, fun, fun, fun. We have our new ship as well. Very cool. Very exciting. I don't really know what to say in these things. I don't know. I'm just going to probably talk a little bit. I'm probably also going to do like a lot of these more side quest sort of things on this character. Um, if, if, Oh, I was not stream them, but like record them for filler bits because you know you never know when you need filler episodes, and this is one of them, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. But um, Jack Russell is honestly my favorite companion in the game. He is so amazing. I love him so much, and it's great to see him upgraded. I'm also gonna try and keep all of my companions like around the same level for once because usually I have like a whole bunch that are like really high, like two or three. Um, um, and then, uh, and then all of the others are, like, really low. Really, really low, and that's not, um, not the greatest. So, I've decided that, for this character, at least, um, we're gonna try and level them up as much as possible. Even if that has to mean I have to farm for gold or something, we're gonna do it. Because, yes, because that's how I'm gonna do it. Because I haven't played it like that before. I always play with, like, having, like, three or four main companions, but then it means I can kind of, like, switch out all of my companions to, um, you know, to, to try out different strategies if I feel like it, and I'm not, like, stuck into, like, three or four, so I think it'll be an interesting play style, but for today, we're probably going to be using just our main three, because they're the only ones that are high enough level to actually cope with most of the stuff, um, so yeah, I think he gets us at, like, level 21 or something, I don't know, I don't really know, um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing, that's kind of how it goes, Kinda how it goes. Right, where is he? Where's my mans? Where's my mans? There's my mans. Hi mans. What do you want? Lucky Jack Russell, you old dog. And good to see you too, pirate. Someone wants very badly to meet with you, and soon. Captain Dan, leader of the scurvy dogs, needs to talk to you. I know you've had your differences, but he calls for parley under flag of truce. He told me that no dog born in Marleybone would dare refuse. Meet him at his hideout, under the pyramid. Oh, oh Captain, he's appealed to my honor. No going back now. Let's go see the scurvy dogs, shall we? Right, let's go and see these scurvy dogs. Sounds like a plan, honestly. Sounds like a plan. What has he got for us today? Who knows? But we will find out very soon. Uh, yeah, let's head over there. He's quite a wee way away. Um, but yeah, this quest is kind of long and I'm probably there will probably be bits where I'm just cutting a little bit I don't like to do that um but you know I'm not trying to make this like an extremely long ordeal for you to watch because you know that's boring especially when we have to fight like probably a hundred million ships at once so you know I'll probably cut that I'll save you I'll save you the effort and I'll just do it myself you see it's called backseat gaming you guys just get to see the easy bits and I'll do all of the hard stuff does that sound good I think that sounds fantastic, honestly. I think that's probably the best. Um, but yeah, right. Let's head off this way. There's Treasure Island. Lovely wee little place. Lovely wee... Oh no, we're running out of fuel. This is bad. This is bad. It's going to be a long day. That is for sure. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. The one thing that I dislike about Companion Quests is some of them are very, very, very long and it's kind of annoying sometimes just how long they are especially the later ones they are ridiculously long um and they can take up to like 
two to three hours, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But luckily, these early ones don't do that as much. Um, but yeah, it, it'd be like that. Don't fight me. You don't want to. You don't want to catch these hands. You don't want to catch these cannons. It's not worth it, man. It ain't worth it. I will destroy you. I will absolutely obliterate you in one foul movement. Kabam, you're dead. That's what happens. And it is not good for you. So I think for your health and for my benefit, don't hit me. Just don't. Don't even try. Don't even try, ships. Not today. I am not in the mood for it. Not in the mood. Not in the mood at all. Right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Let's see. Captain Dan. Luckily, these guys aren't fighting us. But that's because we've already... We've gone a little bit further than, you know, when this quest is meant to be. We're meant to probably be around Monkeysto Valencia, I'd say. I think. I guess. Sort of around that time. Um, so, yeah. We're, we're slightly ahead of schedule. But that's fine. That's fine. Who, who needs to be on schedule when you can be ahead, you know? I'll cut right to it. Captain Gordon, shining star of the Royal Navy, was recently taken prisoner after an <clears throat> accident and sent to Monquista. Gordon is privy to certain state secrets. If the monkeys coerce the information out of him, it will lead to war. That cannot happen. The Crown needs someone to go into Monquista and bring Gordon out. Jack, you and your captain know Monquista, and you're good in a fight. When you bring Gordon back, Take him to the HMS Vigilant at the passage to Port Regal. So, Jack, are you ready to help Queen and country? How can we refuse? Captain, we friends in Monquista. I know just the gorilla for the job. Right, we are going to Gortes. We're not going to sail there because this is a pirate game. Why would we sail? You know, it doesn't make sense. Um, we're going to use the transporter later because it's easier and it's actually a lot closer than sailing there. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> But again, it is a pirate game. Why would we sail anywhere? That seems a bit counterproductive, you know. Seems a bit out of character for me. Um, but yeah, basically, my stats are a little bit better now as well. Um, we have a new Valencian Halberd. It's pretty cool. I personally think it will um, suit my style of um, smashing things with big axe. So yeah, I think it will be useful for that. It was also one of the best weapons that I could find in the bazaar, so that's also why we're using it. Right, we are going to quickly get some fuel. Real fast fuel. Um, just so we can go zoomy a little bit more. Because I ain't about wasting time. I ain't about wasting time. This is my last character. I've done most of this already all over before. So we're, we're just going as fast as possible. Fast as absolutely physically possible. All the way to Zender. Which is so much quicker than anywhere else. Because if we went through the storm gate where would we be all the way over here not the greatest not the greatest to be honest but hey it's fine it's okay i guess it's okay right here we go gortez gortez let us in to your castle yes quite a cool castle honestly quite a cool castle it's very cool i want one myself to be honest, I really do want one. Hello. Cap, I bring the dispatches to me, and I should be able to find some word of your poor prisoner. I completely forgot. For? We were listening to dialogue. Um, I'm so used to skipping it. I apologize, but I'll be back once I've defeated these things and got the dispatches because ship fights are kind of boring. Right, that drop rate was absolutely atrocious, and I'm glad I didn't do that on camera because that took like. I would say at least 10 to 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Um, just for four of them as well. It was absolutely terrible. Would not recommend 0 out of 10. But we got them. So that's all that really matters. And I'm not going to skip dialogue this time because that would be bad. That would be very bad. You are the terror of the skyways, my small friend. Let me see. Here, I have it. Your prisoner is being held in Monquista City. You can't enter the fort unless... These simpering royals are fools for paperwork. If you show the guards a proper pass, they'll let you in. Papers like these we cannot forge, I'm afraid. How to get some? Perhaps Her Majesty will know. I'm sure Queen Eleanor will see you. Captain, you survived the ravages of Avernus. 
I am so pleased. How may we help you, to whom we owe so much? Hmm, you need a royal pass into Monquista City Fortress. A difficult thing to get. And yet, there is always a way. Cardinal Augustino is visiting Puerto Mico from the Holy City. He has such a pass. With the right incentive, he'll even give it to you. The powerful always have secrets. The librarian in St. Bonobos can tell you Cardinal Augustinus. Ah, intrigue. Right, so it looks like we need to go to um, St. Bonobos Abbey. And then go to Puerto Mico. And I'm probably going to cut because it's a long way away. Um, well, once we get to St. Bonobos. Because it is a long way away back to sail all the way back to the Tradewind Skyway. So, yeah, we'll, we'll cut that a little bit out for you. But, yeah, that fight was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, if I just, like, scroll up and chat, this is how many fights I had to do. It was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So many. Um, the drop rate is terrible. I was sitting at one for, for ages, it felt like. Um, and then again for... Two and three came pretty quickly, but number four, that took ages as well. <laughs> one and four just took forever. It was so bad. And also, I'm only getting like one nautical XP as well, so it sucks. Absolutely sucks. Um, where's Mans? Here's Mans. Cardinal Augustino? You would embarrass him. I would do what? When he first took his vows, Augustino held very controversial views. Today, they might even be called heresy. Augustino has worked hard to remove his writings from the great libraries in the Holy City. But we are far from the Holy City. Take these peppers and show them to Augustino's attendant, Monsignor Lavada. No doubt his eminence has no wish to be reminded of his younger days. Okay, so we're just blackmailing him. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll be back once I'm ready to blackmail him. Right! I am back, and we're here in Puerto Mico again, because, you know, always seems to be here. Um, where is Mans? Mans is up here, and somewhere over here he is. Hello. Peace and good reign to you. What business have you with the Cardinal? I see. I don't know what you think you have, but these are worthless. Perhaps, but it would be a shame if they were sent to the Monquisition. Surely you don't think these are the only copies. What do you want? That's better. We want a royal pass into Monquista City Fortress. And we want the Cardinal to forget he's missing one. Very well, take your pass. But beware, his eminence is no one to be trifled with. Okie dokie, and that was all we had to do here. Now we need to go all the way back because, you know, makes sense. Right, I am back. We are in Monquista City. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And hopefully... We can walk straight in. Halt! You have papers? Ah, I see. You are on church business? As you say. Go in and watch your head. This is it. Ready, Captain? Let's be about it. Yep. Nothing suspicious here. We are doing church things. I didn't even go in the right door. Good job. I went in the window because it looked like a door and it was not a door. Very sad. Stop. We have the correct papers, sir. I don't think you should be seizing me. No, thank you. Um, okay, well, that didn't help. Um, unfortunate. Right, let's just destroy them, I think. Honestly, I think that's the only option. They only leave us with so many options here. And destruction just seems like the best choice. To be completely honest with you. Immobilized, that is fun. I completely forgot that these silly Monkeystons immobilize everybody and their mums. It's not great. It is frustrating and annoying, and I hate so much. So much hate for the immobilizations. Not a fan at all. Right. Get some strength. Super strength. Fight me. Hit me. Nope, he's not hitting me. So sad. I want them to hit me. Because I will destroy them. Yes, hit me! Oh my gosh, I need to actually be hit, though. This is so sad. When you when they're too low level and you can't just get hit. This is so sad. What am I ever meant to do? 
How am I meant to go on in life? This is so sad. Oh my gosh. Um, right. Let's see how many monkeys I can slay right here, right now, in this one round. Hopefully, quite a few. At least two, I would say. Bye. One down. And two down. Lovely. And three down. Three down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love to see it. I'm mad that that last one didn't die. I was really hoping he would have, but oh well. It's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Just go towards rat bed. Yes. Repel borders. Get wrecked, kiddo. Get wrecked, scrub. Yeah. Wrecked. Good job. GG. We did it. We did all of them in one round. That's just how good we are. I mean, it took us two rounds, but it doesn't matter. In minutes, this place will be crawling with conquistadors. I found some keys. This way. Right, we're going this way. Sounds fun. Next room. What do we have in here? Oh, it's a spooky dungeon. Spooky dungeon. Yep. No, no dialogue. Just spooky dungeon. Fair enough. Ooh, we've got some crossbowmans. That's a bit scary, honestly. That scares me just a little bit, not going to lie. Um, we'll do that. You can come over here. You can do this. That should hopefully kill him. With blade storms and such. We just buff up first because I think it's probably best to just go fully attack next round and get companions into position first. Um, probably the best idea here. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we're doing. Um, that dodge is very annoying. It's very frustrating with that. Oh well. Oh well, attack. Kablam. Glancing blow. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And a blade storm. Even better. Relentless? Yeah, you can relentless all day, baby. Nope, no more. That's a sad. That's a sad day, but if he if he did, it would have been amazing. Would have been amazing if he did. Um, right, these guys look like they're all in, like, a decent range. What I'll do is I will hit this man's. Um, you can hit this man's. You, Ratbed, can hit this man's, and you can hit this man's. And hopefully that man's dies. Hopefully they all die, but you never know. They may not. They may not. Okay. Yup, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Can we get a Relentless? No, we don't have Relentless. I keep forgetting. We have Blade Storm, I think, maybe. We have Vengeance Strike. I know that. I know we have Vengeance Strike. Do we have Blade Storm? We must have Blade Storm. Though. We have something else. We have something else, surely. Surely. Surely we have something else. I think it's Blade Storm. I could be wrong, though. Yes, pop off Ratbed. Go. Kablam. Get wrecked. Wrecked, kid. Wrecked. Block. Even better. Didn't block that one, but that's okay, I guess. That's okay. That is okay, my friend. What do we have? What do we have? We have, um... Um... Blade Storm, Hold the Line, and Venge 2. That's right. Okay, if that makes sense. I'll do that. You, my friend, can do this. You can do this. I'm disappointed that Jack did not kill. Like, I'm really mad at that. I'm honestly, like, more upset at that than anything else in my life. I just want to crit. Oh, Blade Storm. There we go. I don't even need to crit. I just need to Blade Storm. Just need to Blade Storm in my life. Love to see it. Right! GG. Easy clap. Not a problem. I mean, we are pretty, you know, high level, so does help a bit you're the rescue i take it oh jolly good i thought those little beasts would be the end of me <laughs> let's get out of here sounds good right now we need to go all the way back to trade wins so i'll be back in a little bit right i am back let's talk to inspector kent over here on the ship what's you want sir what's you want sir yes give me that salute I love it. I love it. I love your work. Keep up it, guys. Keep up at it. Nice work. Captain Gordon, welcome home, sir. Good to be home, Inspector. 
Pirate, Jack, I owe you a debt. You're a credit to your profession, both of you. Well, Pirate, you've done a fine job. The Crown is very grateful. And you, Mr. Russell, have earned a medal. Congratulations. Now, to the tavern with you. Okie dokie, let's head to a tavern real fast. We'll go to Scrimshaw. Just because I don't know if there's one on Puerto Mico. I don't know, there might be. Maybe there is. I don't know. But we'll go to we'll go to Scrimshaw real quick, just because it's just over here. It's just over here and we can just zoom over there. Real fast. Real fast, like. But yeah, is there one on I don't know if there's one on Puerto Mico. There must be, right? You'd think there would be. It's like a town, so there must be. Ooh don't want to get into the fights with the storm sharks they are scary they are super scary also just a waste of time to fight right now because i really don't need to do that really don't need to do that right here we go also this one's really close because it's just right at the um uh right at the start we don't even have to go into the town itself which is good very good very nice amazing work let's do this Haha, -ha. and into the cellar when it loads. It is loaded. Lovely. Down here. And we will talk to my boy Jack and see what he has to say for himself. Are you proud of yourself, buddy? I feel a new man, Captain. Sorry there was no medal for you, but I'm sure we'll have another chance. Look at him. He's getting changed. Does he get hat? Yeah, he gets hat now. Very cool. He is now a dog privateer. He's truly a privateer now. Very cool. Um, we can also give him stuff, but I'll do that off camera. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, smash like, subscribe if you want to. And as always, remember to craft outside the box.